Hey guys, it's Sharon from Digital Nomad Quest. And it's Sean with Everything REI. And today we're gonna to talk about how to repaint your house. So if you guys are new to this channel, welcome. I'm all about teaching y'all how to build passive income, become financially free, and design your best lives. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to subscribe. And also make sure to subscribe to Sean's channel where he talks about everything about real estate investing. So we've been thinking about updating this home to make it into an Airbnb rental. But then due to COVID-19, we decided to postpone those plans and instead make it into a nice place to live in. And recently, because we decided to move in together, Sharon has a lot of good ideas of how to make this home look really, really nice. So originally the walls were like this warm yellow color and we wanted to make it more modern. So we chose this light gray as you can kind of see in the background. And I was surprised because I don't really have experience in like home remodeling or renovation or anything like that. I was surprised at how easy it actually was to just do it ourselves, right? It wasn't that painful to like do it ourselves. Um, it's quite easy. So we wanted to give you guys this guide on like the steps we took, how much we paid for the materials and things like that. So in case you guys are interested in doing it yourselves or if you wanna start your own Airbnb business and maybe like update your place, this guide is for you. Also just a quick note, if you were to hire a professional in the Bay Area, you have done it before, right? You hired a professional for an Airbnb that you currently rent out. So how much was that for you? Right, so if you're gonna repaint your whole house, it's typically gonna cost you between $2,000 and $3,000 if you to hire some professional to do it. So by doing it yourself, you're gonna see how much money you can actually save. And how big was that home that you paid $2,000 to $3,000 for? It was around 1,500 square feet. Three bedroom, two bathroom home. So first step, you're gonna choose your sample colors. So we actually bought the Sherwin-Williams sample. So we bought Repost Gray and then we bought Reflections. So this is what it looked like. This is actually a lot right for a sample and i don't think we needed to buy this much it ended up being around 17 dollars for two of these that was kind of pricey and we also didn't seem to like the colors for what we were doing when you buy your sample colors you want to make sure you paint it on the walls to see what it actually looks like because it ends up looking pretty different from the swatches so we ended up going with bear instead of sherwin williams and we think the quality is pretty similar so like i don't think it was a big issue we got a different color one thing i would say is we didn't buy the sample for that color we just ended up buying the entire paint directly and it'd probably be a good idea to actually buy the samples every time you're gonna paint your walls like you want to make sure you know what color it's gonna look like before you actually paint so yeah we ended up going with the bear versions from home depot and if you were to get a sample they only cost about three dollars and fifty cents so it's definitely worth it to go get the sample from there i think one of the biggest challenges that you're going to face is the amount of choices that you're going to have because there are so many different swatches and different types of grades that you're gonna get into many different arguments and frustrations to decide on the perfect grade that you want when you finally decide on choosing your color. So the number two is to finalize and buy your paint color. So again, we decided to buy a whole different color. So we bought five gallons worth. So it looks like this and we bought it for about $140-ish. It was for this 1,500 square foot home. We didn't paint all the walls and we already finished through basically all of it. So it's not totally enough, just letting you guys know. So another thing you're gonna look at when you're buying these paint colors is the sheen. Basically, if it's gonna be flat, matte, glossy, eggshell, there's a few different ones, but it just depends what texture, I guess, you want of your wall color, if you want it more flat or if you want it more shiny. So make sure to figure that out and also the shinier ones usually cost a little bit more but not too much more. Yeah, typically you want the shinier ones to be on your trim or in the bathrooms or in your kitchen because they're easier to clean. And for the like rooms, we chose a matte uh, sheen. Yeah, so we are gonna buy more paint. I think we're gonna buy glossy or eggshell paint for the dining area and the, the bathrooms because it makes it easier to clean. Oh, another thing, make sure you get high quality paints. Make sure that if you're not gonna put primer before it, you wanna have high quality primer in your paints that you purchase. We bought the Ultra Bare version, which is higher quality. It just makes it so that you only need to use one coat. Otherwise, you have to go over and over and over again. And every time you do it, like there's not enough paint really yeah one thing we noticed when we started painting the living room the old paint started to like chip off the reason is usually that the quality wasn't high enough so you want to make sure you get a high quality one that can last for a while and not chip off so number 
three, you're gonna buy your rollers, your paintbrushes, your roller paper, your tape, and your trays. So we got a roller paintbrush set with the tray for about 20 to $30, and we bought two sets of these. So it's already open in this pack, but it looks like this. It has the tray, and then you have like these little roller, what are these called? Like foam rollers. Foam roller thingies, things yeah. This one included like two roller covers, and it had the little roller, the paintbrush, the tray. We bought two because, you know, there's two of us. We want to make sure we had enough tools for everything. We ended up kind of alternating with like me using the paintbrush usually and him using the rollers. So it's pretty convenient to kind of have two sets. If you don't clean your stuff enough, like you don't clean your paintbrush and rollers enough, it could dry up and then be non-usable. That's why it's good to have some backups in case. Also, the roller paper is about $15. So it looks like this type of roller paper. The tape looks like that. This is gonna be important to make sure you don't mess up and like drip all over the floor and things like that. The tape looks like this and that costs around $8. We bought like eight of these and we're probably gonna use about six of them to align the entire home. We've already used four, but we're gonna need two more for the rest of the house. So number four is to tape the borders and the rooms. I think as you mentioned that you need to do that because if you don't, then you're gonna get all these different like paint smears all over the borders. See, when you paint here, it's not perfect, right? You're gonna get a paintbrush to paint all this. And if you have tape here, then you can paint here without worrying about painting over your border. So you wanna make sure you do it perfectly where you're like covering the trim exactly because if you mess that up, the paint's gonna go over there and you don't want that. Also, recommendation, the thicker the tape, the easier it is usually. So make sure to look out for that. Number five, you should wear some crappy clothes like this. This is my old like college shirt that I've been wearing for this painting stuff because I don't care if paint gets on it and that's probably gonna happen. Especially like from the roller, it tends to drip on you and stuff when you're painting. So make sure to wear stuff that you don't care about. You could throw it away in the future. And then lastly, you're going to start painting your walls. So what we found was the direction you go when you're painting doesn't seem to matter too much. It ends up just looking the same. I think with the white paint it's a little different because when I painted certain directions you could kind of tell other than that like it was pretty much I just painted whatever made sure all parts were painted and even if you miss spots it's okay to like overlap it again with another layer it doesn't seem to show too much yeah I think it's actually because it's eggshell and that's why it's like a little bit thicker so I hope you guys enjoyed this little newbie guide on how to repaint your walls obviously we're not like home experts or anything like that but I think we pretty much was able to completely repaint this home and it looks pretty good in our opinion. We'll show you guys some of the videos and pictures of what it looks like currently and hopefully you guys like it. Looks pretty good. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below if this video helped. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified of my latest videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.